Tennessee is the end of an era called Serena Williams. Today at Simply Sports, let's take a look at the legacy of this amazing athlete who dominated the world of tennis for four decades. Most Grand Slam titles. Williams boasts the highest number of Grand Slam titles won by any player, male or female, in the Open era. She has 23 Grand Slam titles to her credit. Margaret Court is the only player who has more major titles to her name than Williams, that is 24. Most number of records. Williams has won a record 13 Grand Slam titles on hard court. She holds the Open era record for the most women's singles titles at the Australian Open, that is 7 and shares with Chris Evert the Open Era record for most titles won at the US Open, which is six. She also holds the record for the most women's singles matches won at the majors. She has 365 victories to her credit. And she also has won the singles majors 10 times since turning 30 years old. This is the most in a singles majors event. She's the only tennis player, male or female, to win three of the four Grand Slams at least six times. Mind you, she's also a five-time winner of the WTA Tour Championships in the singles division. The oldest Grand Slam winner. Serena Williams successfully cemented herself as the oldest female player to win a Grand Slam championship. She laid claim to the title by outperforming her elder sister Venus Williams at the 2017 Australian Open. She performed the feat at the age of 35 years, 4 months and 2 days. Winning a Grand Slam during her pregnancy. Pregnancy can completely drain you of your energy and game. But not Serena Williams who dominated her way to the pinnacle of women's tennis while she was carrying a child. The American won her record-breaking 23rd Grand Slam singles title while she was eight weeks pregnant at the 2017 Australian Open, dominating the Olympics. Serena and Venus are the only tennis players in history with four Olympic gold medals, three in women's doubles together and one each in singles. And the best part is they did this three times. They are the only open era women tennis players to win Olympic golds in both the singles and doubles categories. At the 2012 Summer Olympics, Serena Williams became only the third player to win Olympic gold medals in both singles and doubles at one Olympic Games, after Helen Wills Moody at the 1924 Summer Olympics and Venus at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. Winning the Golden Slam in 2012 Serena made history in 2012 London Olympics where she became the only player after Steffi Graf to record a career Golden Slam, winning all four Grand Slams and the Olympic Gold in the singles category while competing against Maria Sharapova in the finals. Williams is the only player, male or female, to accomplish a career Golden Slam in both singles and doubles. Winning a surface slam, when a player records Grand Slam wins on each of the three court surfaces, including clay, hard and grass, it is known as a surface slam. Serena is the third player after Martina Navratilova and Steffi Graf to win a surface slam by emerging triumphant at the final three majors of the year of 2002. Ironically, Venus Williams featured in all three of those finals against Serena, but it was Serena who emerged triumphant at every instance without dropping a single set. Introducing the world to the Serena Slam. A Serena Slam can be defined as the phenomenon of winning four of the major Grand Slams consecutively in different calendar years. Williams managed to record a Serena Slam by winning the four majors over the course of 2002 and 2003. Williams astonishingly managed to record the same feat yet again over the course of the 2014 and the 2015 seasons the third highest tenure as the top ranked player. Following the likes of Steffi Graf and Martina Navratilova, Serena Williams boasts of the third longest stint at the top of the food chain in women's global tennis rankings. She first perched at the top in July 2002 for a whopping 57 weeks until August 2003 when Kim Clijsters took over. 
After four short stints at the top spot between the years 2008 to 2010, Serena returned to the number one position for the longest period of time in August 2013, a record 186 consecutive weeks that she shares with Steffi Graf. Overall, she has been ranked singles world number one by the Women's Tennis Association for 319 weeks and finished as the year in number one five times. The highest paid woman athlete. Williams was the world's highest paid woman athlete in 2016, earning almost $29 million. She repeated this feat in 2017 when she was the only woman on the Forbes list of the 100 highest paid athletes with $27 million in prize money and endorsements. In 2021, she was ranked 28th on the Forbes World's Highest Paid Athletes list. She is the second highest earning woman athlete of all time, according to Forbes 2022. Serena has announced her retirement from tennis to expand her family and to figure out something other than tennis that she can be known for. We at Simbly Sports wish her the best and thank her for entertaining us with some of the best games in tennis. If you enjoyed this video, please show us your love by pressing the like button, the share button, and of course, to subscribe to Simbly Sports.